Hi grade fours, welcome to your last lesson of recorded this term. Today, we are gonna be doing something together. Are we here together? I hope so. You better have your recorder and sheet music in front of you so we can be able to play this piece well. It's not a hard piece, but it is going to be utilizing that high E that we looked at last week. So make sure you are comfortable playing that high E and moving from a high D to a high E and back down because we're gonna be using it quite a bit in this piece, okay? So, enough jibber jabber. Bust out your sheet music, make sure your recorder is warm, and tell your friends that you will be out in the next 15 minutes, because right now you're playing some recorder. So let's zoom into this piece and let's break it down. So starting off, let's look at the symbols we have. We have our treble clef as usual, our one sharp, which is on the F line, meaning any F becomes an F sharp, and we have three, four, meaning we have three beats in a bar. So we'll count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on, okay? So let's start off by reading our rhythm. We have a tum T. So let's go for it after a count of three. One, two, three. Tum T T T ta 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 tum T T T ta 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 a ta 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 all right one more time by yourself after count of three one two three Uh, uh, uh. All right, super easy rhythm, not hard at all. That tum-ti rhythm should be the easiest thing as well. It should be as easy as a quarter note for you now. So one other thing I want you to notice, you see these Roman numerals we have up here? Those two I, I's, I, I. Notice that they're all on top of every B note, B. B, meaning they want us to use our second fingering for B because it's easier to go from that second fingering to the next note. So for here it's gonna be from a B to a G, here's B to a G, here's a B to a G. So our second fingering is, if this is a B, this is also a B. Boom, those two fingers there. It's like holding a G bow without this index finger. And that's gonna sound like That's my B second fingering. This is my B first fingering. Tell me if there's a difference in the sound. First fingering, second fingering. First fingering, second fingering. There's no difference, it's the exact same pitch. All right. So the reason why they're saying this, they're indicating that, is because it's easier to move from this second fingering B to this G. Let's try that out. Second fingering B to G. Here, so from this B to this G. B, G. Let's go for it. Three, go. So pretty simple just to move from that B to G. B to G. So if you want to use that B, go ahead. I would encourage you to use it because it's nice to know how to play one note in a different way. But if you still want to use your regular B, that's fine as well. You're just going to need to move a bit more fingers, okay? So let's start off. We have a tum t t t. This is probably the hardest rhythm in the whole piece. And it just repeats over and over again. Look, we have it here in the first line, the second line, and even the fourth line. So if we can play that, we've got so much down. All right, so let's get it. We have a D high E. How do we play that high E? We hold a regular E and we make sure we uncover the back by halfway, okay? So this is our low E, high E. So make sure you get comfortable with that. We're gonna take it slow so we get really good. So let's go D high E, let's go. Again. Let's go down, D, C. So, D, high E, D, C. Three, go. Three, go. Again, let's go. Let's keep on going, easy stuff. 
B, G, G. Ready? Go. Next line, A, D, D. Let's go. Then back to a B, G, G. We just repeat that. Let's go from bar two to bar four. Three, go. And you take a breath. Now remember, that low D is all six fingers. One, two, three, then the next index middle ring. All right, that's our low D. Don't forget that. So let's go from the beginning, the whole of line one. One, two, three. Then we just repeat the same thing in line two. This first bar in line two is the same as the first bar in line one. The second bar in line two is the same as the second bar in line one. The third bar in line two is the same as the third bar in line one. The only difference is we hold G, G. All right, so we hold that G for two beats and then for one beat. So let's try to play line two since it's exactly the same as line one except for that ending. So you should be able to play that, that's easy stuff. Let's go line two. One, two, three. One more time, line two. One, two, three. All right. Now let's go for line one and line two together, knowing that they're similar except for that last bar. One, two, three. All right, so bar number three, we just have that A, D, D, B, G, G, A, D, D, B, G, G. It is too simple, it is ridiculous. So A, D, D, B, G, G, then just repeat those two bars again. A, D, D, B, G, G. So let's go for it. One, two, three. Easiest thing ever. One more time. One, two, three. Then, bar number four, I want you to notice something. It is exactly the same as line number two and line number one in the first three bars. All right, so we have that D. E, D, C, B, G, G. That same thing here. That D, E, D, C, B, G, G. All right? The only difference is we finish on a G for three whole beats. So if we know line number one, line two, line four is nothing. It's a piece of cake. In fact, it's a piece of cake with us having the mouth of a hippo, meaning we're going to eat that thing like it's a mosquito. So let's go for it. Line number four. One, two, three. Again, line number four. By yourself, to go. Let's take it from line number three up until line number four. One, two, three. No need to take it from line number two. Let's take it from the beginning all the way till the end. One time with me, then one time by yourself. One, 
two, three. All right, now by yourself. One, two, three. Ta, ta. Ta, ti. Ta, 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 ta. ta. Tum ti 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 Two, three, done. Great work. All right, grade fours, it's a beautiful day, not only because of the sunlight, but because we are here together. This is our final piece for this term. And it's not a hard one. It just has Ds and a high E. And we're just trying to get used to moving with that tum T rhythm into our TT rhythm. All right. So it's not a hard piece at all. It's super repetitive. So if you've got the first line, you've pretty much got the whole piece pretty much. So make sure you practice it and internalize it really well. Each and every one of you can get this really well as long as you put in the effort. And effort is not just looking at the piece. The effort is you having your recorder and having the sheet music in front of you and practicing 10 minutes every single day so that it becomes the easiest thing in the world, okay? So make sure you have fun practicing and you put in your best amount of effort so you can be able to play this piece extremely well. And so when it's time to perform all your pieces together, you'll be able to blow through them super quickly and you'll even be like, huh? How did I do that? But the way you did it is because you put in the effort. All right. So have fun practicing. And I really can't wait to hear each and every one of you perform the pieces we've done this term. All right, grade four. See you next week.